Always in my bag and I got a check out had to flex out I was never scared so I had to man up What's going on guys? Welcome back to the challenge your host of the most Tomboy Double O and you're currently watching Tomboy TV and we are back to unbox the highly anticipated, highly coveted Supreme and the North Face collaboration that released for week 10 of Fall Winter 19 from Supreme, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that word is getting played out way too much lately, but we're back here to unbox because it's... I was going to do another uh, video that I went in store like I typically do for every single week. So if you guys want to see that every week, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I don't really ask that that often, but hit it up. I'd appreciate that so much. But basically, as I was saying, I was going to do it, but the video would have just been too long and too strenuous. So, oh, new word. You see vocabulary. I'd be studying too much lately. Uh, so I decided to make it a whole separate one. And today will probably also be the day of the AirPod Pro review. Hope you guys enjoy that one as well. I don't know which one I'm putting out first, but I'll also be chasing fearlesses today that you guys see this video, hopefully. But we are here once again. So, full story, I'm going to show it up for you guys. If you want to see the in-store video, as I said, you can check it out. But I had a 10.45 a.m. Supreme Soho slot. Dude, I'm getting so nauseous from the smell of this green screen. I'm literally going to I'm literally gonna die. Then we got... Oh, my God. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, but... All right, so we also had a BK time slot at 1.30 p.m. Now, you guys saw it was pouring rain. It wasn't the best weather. Your boy was like, uh, I don't know if I should stay in line. And luckily, I did stay in line the whole... Well, not really luckily because the jackets... Mm, they might be going up to StockX Heaven. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> RIP to that man. Uh, not really that man, but that item. But anyways, so I did have two slots, so I did end up going in store two times. Yes, two times. It was good. It wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible, but... um. It, I, I was, nah, it was, I'm not, my expectations were kind of decent. Like, I always, I, lately I don't be setting my expectations too high for a Supreme in store. Just because I know they'd be getting messed around sometimes. But, we do got one Ikea bag here. And then we do got another Ikea bag here, which I can basically take out and just take out the Supreme bag. Because, yo, Ikea bag, thank goodness I had that Ikea bag. Because if not, I would have literally died without it. So, we did get a good amount of stuff. Uh, as I said, we had two different slots. 10.45 a.m. in the morning. And then we had a 1.30 p.m. So I'm going to take out the most hyped item that you guys probably have not seen a lot of. Because it is so... It was more of a rare piece I can say right here. So, first of all, Supreme Tina becoming like this, right? The part... This is a puffy jacket. This is the only one I copped. Also costs like around 100... Uh, 500 and something. $50, if I'm not mistaken, with tax. I know in the UK, it was hella money. Like, when I mean hella money, it was way too expensive. About almost like $75 more than the US price. But you guys can see the tag right there on the bag, hopefully. Boom, right there. This is a medium. So I was 1045, number 88. I was probably like number 70 in store. I asked for XL in this color because I saw yellow was a rare one. Sold out pretty quick. Was going for the good amount of breach. And I was like, yo, do you have an XL? No. Do you have a large? Nah, sorry, man. And I was like, what do you have? It was just a medium. And they only had a, like literally eight more mediums left of the yellow puffy. So that just goes to show how rare this one was. So... We can go ahead and take this one out completely right over here. Does come with some, uh, not much, with some uh, tissue tape right there. Uh, remember, it must come with some, uh, some Japanese writing on the silica gels right there as well. You know, must make that packaging A1. We're gonna put this in. Massive jacket though, let me, let me tell you. Massive, absolutely massive jacket. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the TNF statue series. Boom, right there. You guys can hopefully see it nicely coveted yellow. Yellow. Now, yellow was not my favorite colorway. Uh, I didn't really think it would do crazy, crazy good. The only reason why I expect it to do somewhat good is because I'll break it down like this. Black, most hyped. Everybody wants it. Yes, but that means every reseller is going for that colorway. Everybody's going for it. And also, stock is the highest because, you know, everyone likes that colorway. They're going to make the, a little bit more stock. Not crazy amount more stock, but a decent amount more stock of that colorway. And then, as a result... Uh, most, resell most resellers sleep on the other colorways and that ended up being yellow. Red was just not a big fan of everything, but yellow was different. It had like a different type of feel to it. And I got to the puffy jacket is a very designer type feel. Like I'm, it's like the, like a designer, it's like a puffy designer jacket from like Balenciaga, for example, I'd compare it to. But on the back, we also do have T and F right there, the Statue of Liberty on the back with the North Face logo on the back as well. Puffy jacket all the way down. And once again, I did say this is a size medium. Let me show you guys one more time from the front look like that. I got to see what I'm recording sometimes. And of course, that iconic 
patch that everybody wants is this Supreme and TNF patch right over there. Supre North Face on top, Supreme Box logo on bottom. And the way this goes, so it is extremely puffy, 700 fill down power. That shows how uh, how thick it is, how comfortable it is, and all that good shenanigans. But the tag is not the typical TNF tag it used to come with. It used to come with a red tag, now it's a brown cardboard paper tag, almost like it. And then this is the in-store tag right here, $498. What tax? It was really like five forty, five fifty, and then this is the TNF tag right over here. So shout out to all those people making fufu jackets. Now you guys can make a perfect fake tag as well. But this is also a great way to legit check. And then it does come with the COMs. I guess this is probably one of the most important tags of all. Right here, the certification tag. Hopefully, it zooms in on the proper lettering and numbering. If you guys want to compare, because I think there'll be a decent amount of fakes now resell. I think it should be way higher than it really is. Uh, so the way it goes, it got some Velcro coming down. Boom, boom, and then just have a button clip at the bottom of the jacket as well. So you can come ahead and zip it straight down. This is a statue. Now I've already seen a bunch of statue series photos. <laughs> typical, typical regular action. Don't worry, I'll be posting some of those cringy ones as well. We do have the North Face and Supreme tags on the inside. So we got North Face up top, Supreme on the bottom, and then we got Mediums. And it says Men's. Uh, made in Vietnam. Boom, right there. I'll give you guys a little bit close up of the tag. And then also on the hoodie, I mean, not the hoodie, but the hood, we do have Supreme coming down in that classic logo as well. Now, of course, I will be trying this one on just for you guys. And I gotta say, medium typically does not fit me. It never really does. And the jacket does not fit that bad in a medium. Of course, if it's just right, but regardless, it fits somewhat. Now, I'll put, I'll probably record a little bit of a better. Well, let me see this. Let me see if I can grab this. I have too many layers on right now. But I'll probably answer like a full image of how I look because I'm not standing up right now. But literally cozy vibes right here. Arms fit decent for once. Like arms totally fit. Like it's not terrible. Like if I lean up like this, it's not that bad. But like if I pull it down on the waist, it fits me just right. I don't like how the way it looks. I mean, like I'd rather have a large. I think XL might even end up being too big. But if I stand up a little bit, you guys can see. Boom, if it's like that, then comes down all the way down right there. So, yellow jacket, puffy jacket, down this only puffy jacket I did get. Cozy, bro. I could be like swimming in some freaking, I feel like I'm on like, this is like a caution life vest and I'm like swimming down shit. And we got the hood right there. And then hopefully you guys can see Supreme right there. So boom. And if we zipper it up all the way, hold up. I got to give you guys the full look. And in case you guys do want to pay for resale for this one, I think yellow will go up over time of all jackets. Hold up. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and catch me, catch me in New York like that. But anyways, uh, it is extremely hot. Don't get me wrong. It is an extremely warm jacket. It is made to be warm. North Face killed it once again. Am I a big fan of the statue series? Yes, I really am. I really do like the statue series as a whole. I like the whole New York vibe. I'm going to be posting a picture with, uh, actually I don't want to say because I know someone might end up stealing the idea. But continuing on, we do got some more pieces. That wasn't the only piece we did get. Then we also got this t-shirt right here. This is the Supreme and the North Face T. Um, I don't even know how to unbag this, but we could go ahead and unzip it from right over here. Boom, it, can, it comes in a nice little baggy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Cut it open like that, boom. XLT, you know we had to get XL, I tried getting XL everything, hoodie I could see ended up being a brick so I didn't bother, I didn't really want to hold none of these items, I'll be holding some jackets but I'm not trying to hold none of these smaller items no more, I also just don't see the return and profit in the long run by that much, it's kind of a thinner T, it is TNF branding, I mean not TNF branding but TNF quality, you guys can see the tags right there, this one was $54, then this is the back graphic right here as well, never stop exploring, I mean no, it's expedition proven, with the t oh, it has like North Face embossed slightly in the background. I don't know if you guys can see. But boom, right there. Hopefully you guys can see somewhat in the light. There's like slight, I didn't notice that detail. I don't think anyone really else did. But it's slightly in there. And then we got a uh, Statue of Liberty. She's looking beautiful on the back of this tee. So I'll put that right there. And then we'll keep it pushing onto a few. Actually, I'm going to go into an, a non-collab piece. They did end up restocking the Pelican cases, so I did have to get it in the Supreme Sulfur colorway just because it's been going for the most breach. I did get a red one and a blue one and not a green one, unfortunately, the first week I went. But um, and I ended up getting another one anyway, so it ended up working out. But here we go onto the BK unboxing. This is what I got from Brooklyn. A um, bunch of, uh, of course, we also got some candy from, I felt really bad, but I did get some candy from some, like, some girls sitting on a doorstep. I felt like a dickhead, but it is what it is. 
So we got one black jacket right here, and then we got, yeah, 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 that's right. Only one per person. I, uh, no, at the end of the day, they end up letting you get two. Which is kind of messed up because people that were there at like 11 a.m. and all that stuff were not allowed to get two jackets, but at the end of the day, they were. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox the... I don't like the red one, to be honest. I don't like the red one, but the red one's... Actually, I want to try the black one anyway. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this black one. Unbag this black one, I should say, not unbox. So let's go ahead and rip this open. We got Supreme Strength out here. Ah, oh, damn, that hurt actually a lot, not gonna lie. Anyways, keep pushing, and then we unbag this one. And boom, right there. Now, I did ask for this in a large. Unfortunately, they only had black medium left. No puffies left, so that, and this was a uh, 1.30 a.m. Damn, this one's actually looking somewhat big, not gonna lie. Of course, you can see the graphic much better on this one than the actual puffy jacket, and it does have less, it's much less padding. This one's more of a jacket I can see people rocking on the daily. Doesn't look as obnoxious, but the puffy one is just a little bit too obnoxious, in my opinion. And then we have the North Face Supreme patch right over there on the side. Black, medium. You guys can see the tag right over here as well. Bada boom, bada bang. And then on the hood, there is no graphic, unlike the actual Nupsy, but uh, that's just the only difference between it. And then on the, uh, once again on the front, it's not terrible. We do have a size medium right here, in store tag is $398. And this is why I wasn't mad about not touching online. I mean, I did have to pay the extra tax, but I was already in the city. I could get them in hand early. Not early, but like on day of release. And that's why I wasn't too mad about it. And then this one does have a full button feature along with a zipper feature. So I'll go ahead and undo that for you guys real quick as well. Nice little jacket review coming down. Put a bing, but a boom, boom. This is what the inside looks like. This is what the full jacket. So you do. The, Ah, uh, they don't have the cool monogram they sometimes have, like the whole embossed jacquard logo type print on the inside. Then we do have a size tag right here with no Supreme branding on this tag either on the inside of the jacket. But yeah, yo, fire piece. And we got North Face branding once again on the front, right here on the left, left chest. Boom, right there. So this is how the full jacket looks. Statue of Liberty, she looking beautiful on this one, bro. Gotta say. Mighty, mighty fine, of course, but the blue, the picture's not as clear. I mean, it probably is very hard to get a clear graphic because you have to take the picture up close to the Statue of Liberty. You have to get there to be a helicopter. And you got to zoom in. Then you got to print it on the jacket. So I understand why, but I was hoping it would be a little bit of a cooler, cleaner graphic, which ended up not being. So it is what it is, though. So that's the black jacket right here. And then we do have, of course, I'm not going to unbox this one because I need to get rid of it. But this is the red large jacket. So this will be available for sale on my page at Tommy's Taylor or at Hype NJ or whatever. I'll be posting it somewhere eventually. But this is where you can find this one for sale if you are interested, a red large. So we had 398 plus tax was like 430, 430. And then this jacket was like 550 plus the, so we spent literally more than $1,500 on the North Face collection. How am I feeling? Not too positive. Uh, it is what it is though. I do see prices going up over time. Uh, basically, I would say hold the yellow, black colorways, red ones. It might end up going below retail, not gonna lie. Like, that's just how it is. Like, um, it's upsetting. It really is upsetting because people just love to undercut and kill market. But I expect by Christmas, prices to go back up. And then once winter brick season comes in, it'll go up slightly then. But that'll take some time once again. So we got Supreme TNF. It was a good one. I feel like I'm missing one piece. Oh, yeah, I did pick up SBs from some guy in line. So that review will be coming on the Halloween ones. Uh, probably Sunday, hopefully. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review of the Supreme North Face 2019 Fall, well, fall Winter 2019 collection. Uh, I pretty much just focus on jackets. Got one T for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it so much for more fire content. And tomorrow, as I said, will be review and probably the in-store video of the Fearless Jordan 1. So catch you guys then. Peace.